come to immunology. Before I dwell too much on my topic, I'd like to start here. Antibodies are molecules found in the body that act against any intruder. By that I mean that antibodies are produced by our body in response to antigens we are exposed to. There are five different classes of antibodies, namely IgA, IgD, IgE, IgG and IgM. Well, my main focus will be on IgG and its structure. IgG, also known as immunoglobulin G, is the smallest class of antibody. It also in the secondary immune response. It can pass through the placenta. It only binds to gamma receptors. It's the only class where MHC restriction can occur and is the only class of antibody where enzyme pepain and pepsin react on. Focusing on our structure. Well, our structure is made up of two heavy chains and two light chains which are linked together by disulfide bonds. We've also got folded repeating segments called domains. Light chain and heavy chain can be differentiated into regions that are highly variable, which is VL and VH. And this region is called our variable region, which binds antigens. From there, it can also be differentiated again into regions that are essentially constant, which is CL and CH. From here to here, we've got our constant region. The structure body is known as our fragment crystallizable region, which binds to various, to various receptors. But then here, because we are talking about the structure of IgG, it only binds to FC gamma receptors. And the complement that, uh, the complement that we found here binds on CH2. We've also got our hinge region, which allows for flexibility. Heavy chain consists of one variable domain and three or more constant domains, whereas our light chain consists of one variable domain and one constant domain. Light chain can be kappa or lambda. As I've said in the beginning that IgG is the only class of antibody where enzyme pepain and pepsin reacts on. The, let me show you how does this happen. When pepain cleaves, it only cleaves here at the hinge region where it yields to two FAB fragments and an FC fragment. Talking about FAB fragment, these are monovalent and can bind antigens only. Well, enzyme pepsin when it cleaves, it cleaves the human immunoglobulin heavy chain to form divalent, uh, divalent squared FAB fragment and a degraded FC fragment. Well, divalent FAB squared can bind, agglutinate and precipitate antigen. The other thing is that IgG can bind to specific cells. These cells are Microphages, neutrophils, natural killers, and trophoblasts. Thank you.